And the last test is the conductivity test. So what this is, it's a conductivity tester and it is on and it allows you to see if something conducts electricity. So again, I mentioned that there's water in here and you might be surprised to see that neither of those lights is turning on. And that is because water in fact does not conduct electricity. This is pure water, not from the tap. If I ran tap water, and I have gotten it to work like this before, so we shall see. The red light is blinking. I'm gonna see if I can't change the camera so you can see that a little bit better. And it's gonna be tough, but you can kinda of see that blinking, there we go. So this tap water does conduct, but this pure water doesn't. That's because there's ions in here. There's other stuff in this water that's allowing it to work. And again, as you know, metals conduct electricity. So from what we know about ionic and covalent compounds, hopefully we already know where this is going, but that one, both conducted, red and green. That one is a brighter green, both are going on. And again, just in case that was ionic two, I'm gonna show ionic one one more time. That's ionic one. And then with the two covalents, with the two covalents, Nothing? And nothing. So the ionics conducted and the covalents didn't. That brings us to our unknown section.